By early 1945, Nazi Germany had collapsed. Both the Soviet Red Army and the Western Allies forces were advancing into Germany. As Soviet Red Army were within a block or two of the Reich Chancellery, on 30th April 1945, Adolf Hitler committed suicide by shooting himself in the head with his wife in his Führerbunker. Before Hitler committed suicide, in his last will and testament, he named a new government headed by Karl Dönitz. The day after Hitler's death, Josef Goebbels committed suicide with his wife Magda Goebbels and six children. On 2nd May 1945, Martin Bormann was killed trying to escape the Soviet ring around Berlin. And Hermann Göring soon surrendered to the Americans on 6 May 1945. On 23rd May 1945, Heinrich Himmler committed suicide after being captured by a British patrol. After Adolf Hitler's suicide, Admiral Karl Dönitz succeeded Adolf Hitler as head of the state in May 1945. Dönitz soon fled to Flensburg, near the Danish border, and formed a cabinet in Flensburg, which was to become the second and last government of the Third Reich. Like Hitler, Dönitz hoped that he could drive a wedge between the Western Allies and the Soviets. If America and Britain could separate themselves from the Soviet Union, they might join Germany in the fight against the Soviet Red Army. This was the only card left for Germany to play. They could surrender to British and Americans. Surrendering, German soldiers could expect far better treatment from the Western Allies than from the Soviets, who were known to torture and even execute surrendered Germans in retaliation for German war crimes in Russia. On May 7, 1945, the German forces surrendered to the Western Allies in Rounds, France. But on 8 May 1945, German Field Marshal Wilhelm Keitel sent the German instrument of surrender for the German army to the Soviets in Berlin. The Flensburg government was dissolved on 23 May when British forces arrested its members as prisoners of war. On June 5, 1945, the four Allied powers formalized the dissolution. But why did Germany surrender twice during World War II? Watch our next video to know why did Germany surrender twice during World War II. If you find our video interesting, then like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.